Hello folks, welcome to Night's Arcade. I'm Sleepless Night and I'm going to give you my thoughts on Kingdom Come Deliverance DLC from the Ashes, which I've just finished playing through. But first, we've got to do this bit. Hello YouTube! I should warn viewers that this does contain a few early game spoilers, but nothing which takes place after the Battle of Pribis Lavitz will be mentioned, so if you've got that far, I won't be spoiling anything for you. Following the response to my last review, I should also mention something which should be obvious, but which it seems some angrier viewers still have a hard time understanding. What follows is just my opinion. It is not fact. You are entitled to tell me you think I'm wrong, but it won't change my review. If you have a different opinion, that's absolutely fine. Go make your own review and let's hear it. I'll listen. That's your opinion. Here's mine. On July 5th, War Horse released the first story DLC for their open world medieval RPG, Kingdom Come Deliverance. From the Ashes put Henry of Scalitz into the new role of Bailiff of the ruined town of Pribislavitz. So what does that mean? Well, in the case of this DLC, it means you must rebuild it, you know, from the ashes. And in case you're wondering why the aforementioned town was in need of a decorator, Pribislavitz was burned to the ground years before the events of KCD by Havel Medek of Valdek, who then took Sir Divish of Talmberg's castle and kept Divish captive for several years. Sometime later, the ruins were occupied by bandits and their human bodies, and this is where we came in. Henry and a few dozen heavily armed men went charging in, killing everything that moved, breaking down what few doors remained and using some really harsh language on one or two of the more realistic looking combat practice dummies. There may have also been a small incident where Henry repeatedly smashed some guy's head into the floorboards of the church attic until his face was just a bag of wet, crunchy bits and he stopped breathing out of it. I'd like to know who's been spreading such gossip. So you're going to need to rip up those floorboards because some stains just don't come out, you know. Anyway, maybe some of the bandits overslept at that battle, or had a tough time putting on their armour or something and decided to just sit this one out because Henry's first job in From the Ashes is to find Sir Divish's master locator Marius Bielek, who went to Pribis Lavitz to assess its potential for a rebuild, and wouldn't you know it, got captured by a handful of bandits who didn't get the eviction notice. Now, if you're easily annoyed by smug blokes in silly hats who repeat the same three lines over and over, you might just want to let the bandits kill him before the urge to do it yourself later on becomes a little hard to overcome. But if you want your money's worth out of the DLC, you should probably find a way to rescue him. Once you've done that, you are appointed bailiff of Pribislavitz, and the real work of rebuilding from the ashes can begin. Now. Bailiff of Pribislavitz, tasked with rebuilding an entire town from the ground up. Sounds like a cushy job, doesn't it? But then, Divish says this. If you don't treat the settlers rightly, I'll soon find out and relieve you of your office. And at the time, I thought, fair enough, it's your land, I guess. But you know how it sometimes happens when people walk away and you only realise what you should have said afterwards? So as he wandered off, I thought, hang on a second, let me see if I got this straight. I risked my life spying on Pribislavitz to assess enemy strength and do a bit of sabotage. Then I risked my life battling to evict the bandits from Pribislavitz. Then Divish loses his master locator chap and I again risk my life getting him back from the new bandits at Pribislavitz. Now Divish wants me to rebuild Pribislavitz, which he lost with my own money and he's going to kick me out if I don't do it right. So the job doesn't sound quite so cushy if you think about it in those terms, and yes, you heard me right, Henry is the one who has to pay for all of this, and this is a big job. So unless you've managed to squirrel away at least 100,000 groschen, that's going to mean grind, grind, grind. If you've watched my Kingdom Come Deliverance review, you'll know that I really loved KCD. And if all you want is a bit more KCD after finishing the main storyline, then this should do that for you. But if you're after a little more depth, you're really not going to get it here, if I'm honest. You have a little control over what gets built, but only insofar as there are one or two of the buildings that can't be built alongside other buildings. So, for example, you can't build a butcher 
and a baker, so you have to choose one or the other, and the same goes for one or two of the improvements to other buildings. Ultimately though, you can't choose where to build them, and you don't actually do any of the building work, so what this DLC boils down to is you going out and killing bandits, or hunting animals to raise a shitload of cash, and then coming back and telling the buildy guy to build something. It's not a lot more than a glorified shopping list. It could most closely be compared, in my opinion, to hiring an interior decorator for a really, really big project and then earning a bunch of money so that you can come home at the end of the day, hand over your hard-earned cash and say, right, now you can wallpaper the dining room. It's nice to see the town grow again, but it's a bit poorly balanced, in my opinion. Earning the money is just more fighting, hunting or brewing, something you can do without the DLC, but then the actual building takes no time at all, and in some cases, just leaves you scratching your head. The first thing you have to do is take the notice of your appointment as bailiff to Ratai and then return. When I left Master Locator Marius Bielek by himself at Pribis Laritz, the place looked like even Ewoks might struggle to find their way through the trees and the weeds. But when I returned from Ratai less than 24 in-game hours later, it looked like a multinational logging corporation had spent a month in there with heavy machinery and over a hundred men. It took, and I quote, a few days to rebuild the church. But then it also took the same few days to put three dice tables in the yard outside the tavern. So you know, as in the main game, for the most part it's great, but there are just one or two things here and there that don't quite add up. Now how much you'll have to grind depends on how far you are into the game before you start. You have to at least finish the quest Baptism of Fire, which includes the Battle of Pribis Lavitz, before you can begin this DLC. My advice is don't go past that point if you can help it before starting from the ashes. For one thing, the whole I am honoured to be the bailiff of Pribis Lavitz thing doesn't make a lot of sense once you get close to completing the main KCD questline, and for another, the money you raise to rebuild the town would seem like less of a chore if it happens organically whilst simultaneously completing the main story. As a DLC to be completed alongside the main storyline from the ashes works, and if you finish the main quest, and you just want a bit more to do in KCD, you'll probably enjoy it, but on the whole, it feels a bit empty to me. There are some quirky little bailiff mini-quests where you stand underneath the tree on the village green and dispense judgments about certain events happening between characters in the village. There are one or two extra items you can acquire depending on what buildings you've chosen for the village. And you can choose to bring in special tradesmen and smiths you might have formed a relationship with during the main quest line, but it still felt a little too sparse to hold my interest for more than a couple of hours. When it comes right down to it, this isn't a DLC that will break the bank. It was £7.99 when I bought it at release, and I don't know what that is in your local currency, but where I live it's uh, like two, I don't know, two very small coffees, one very large coffee, uh, a thick glossy magazine, or a bag with like five M&Ms in it from an Odeon cinema. But Marius said it would cost a fortune. If it had been twice the price, I would have said stay away, but if you feel like staying in and making instant coffee instead of going to Starbucks today, you'll get between 5 and 12 hours of play out of this, depending on how much cash your KCD character has to start with, and how you decide to raise it, if not. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the review. If it was helpful to you, or you think it might be helpful to someone else, like, subscribe, comment, or share it, or... If you're feeling especially generous, do all those things. You can often find me hanging out on Twitter when I'm not in here at Knights underscore Arcade. But until next time, from Knights Arcade, this is Sleepless Night saying nighty night. Marius, there's work to be done. <laughs>